y'all welcome back to another video with claws by aja you already know what to do like comment and subscribe for me please all right y'all today i'm coming to you guys with the inspired garden scissor nails so basically we're gonna start off by applying our top coat for our pop-off method and we're just gonna cure those for 60 seconds Right now, you guys just seeing me cure my nails for 60 seconds so we can ensure that our top coat is fully dried. This is after I have cured my nails for 60 seconds. All right, you guys, so next I'm gonna take some of this acetone to remove the shiny layer off of my top coat that I just applied to make sure that the nails that I do apply adhere more better. So, they can last and not pop off. All right, you guys, so these are the nail tips that I'm gonna be using today. I got them from Amazon, as you can see. I'm just showing you guys that I have basically pre-prepped my nail tips. So I can just go ahead and apply them to my nails. I'm going to be using this KDS glue. Definitely a glue to just go to. It's one of my number one go-tos. It's a KDS glue. You can get this from Amazon too. Right now, I'm just going to apply my nail tips. All right, guys, so next we're going to move straight into pre-shaping our nails. I'm definitely not going to pre-shape these duct tips a lot because you can definitely lose the shape if you pre-shape duct tips a lot. So what I'm going to do is just basically kind of shape the end of the nails and just make the shape show more better just by fouling the top of them. And then that's all I'm going to do. Like I said, you don't want to pre-shape these a lot because you can definitely use lose your shape. And then duct tips are already awkward shape, so you definitely don't want to do that. All right, guys, so after my acrylic application and after my acrylic has set, I'm going to go in and I'm going to shape my tips. Well, my nail tips. I'm going to shape my nails, basically. I don't know why I can't talk today, y'all. I just can't talk today. So please bear with me throughout this video. So, yeah, like I said, I'm just shaping the nails. I'm going in. I'm going to shape the free edge, shape the sides, and yeah. All right, you guys, so after shaping the nails, I'm going to go in with my e-file under my nails to basically debulk that free edge because you do not want that free edge thick, girl. It's not cute. Don't have it thick. So if you feel like your free edge is a little too thick, girl, go in with that e-file and shave under those nails. Please, it will definitely be a cleaner look, a crisp look, and you want that.
all right guys so this is after shaping the nails going under the nail with the e-drill and everything and i did kind of give me like a little curve at the free edge as you can see too i like that look on duct tips for some reason it just make it look so much better All right guys, so after buffing my nails, I'm gonna go in with my Young Nail Swipe. I'm not gonna make sure to remove all of that dust and debris from basically buffing and fouling my nails. You definitely wanna go in with some type of alcohol or something just to ensure that you do get all of that dust and debris off. So once it's time to you know apply your gel, your gel top coats and anything that you use so you won't contaminate your gel. And I'm also going to still wash my hands afterwards too. All right, guys, so this is after I've washed my hands. Next, we're going to get straight into our nail art. I was in between these two colors, as you can see, but I ended up going with this one because it was more darker and it matched the moss that I have bought from Amazon better than that lighter green one. All right, guys, so I'm just going to show you how I did my French. You definitely want to do a deeper French for these just because for the garden nails, you just want to deep French. I don't know how to explain. You just do. And then you definitely don't have to apply multiple coats to your French. You can only just do one since it's going to get covered up with the moss. And this is after I had done all of my French tips, as you can see. That's kind of a cute set, y'all. That's why I kept flipping it and looking at it like, that's kind of cute. Mm. All right, y'all. So next, moving on to the moss. This is the moss that I'm going to be using. I believe I'm going to insert a picture in here. I got it from Amazon. So if you guys, there, see, there we go, there we go. If you guys are, you know, wondering where I got it from, I did get it from Amazon. 
So you want to make sure that you have a lot of paper towels on your nail table because this moss, just any moss, regardless of what brand you get, is very messy. You're you're gonna get, you're gonna start a mess with this regardless. But I do like this moss more because this moss is dry moss. The moss that I bought before was moist moss, but this one is dry. So I feel like you guys should definitely try this one out. It's going to adhere way more better to your glue that you use. All right, guys. So right now you see me cutting up the moss. You definitely want to cut it up in like small, tiny bits and pieces. So when you do, you know, start applying it to your nail, it's going to stick way more better than the big chunky pieces. So this is the rhinestone glue I'm going to use the Marquette from Amazon. I know you guys have definitely heard about this brand so I'm just not going to tell you where you can get it from but it's from Amazon. But basically I'm just applying it a thick layer to my nail and I'm going to keep this in kind of real time. I sped it up like literally two seconds so you're definitely going to still see it in real time. Alright you guys, so this is after I cured the nail for 60 seconds. I'm just really brushing away all of the excess moss that's still left on the nail so I can see what spots I need to go back in and fill. So you definitely want to do that. Just brush it off and see what spots you want to need that you need to go back and fill with some more moss. I'm telling you guys throughout this whole process, I definitely had to do this on all of my nails at least like two times. Alright you guys, so as you can see, I have all of my nails done. Ooh, finally. And in this clip, I was just telling you guys, this is a mess. Like, look at my table, look at the glue, look at my scissors, and then even my gloves. And even on my legs, it was all over my legs, y'all. So right now, I'm just going to take some of my nail house um, gel top coat. And I'm not going to actually take my actual bottle and you know apply it to apply it to my nail because I just didn't want to contaminate my gel so I definitely took one of my gel brushes and applied it that way it still worked perfectly fine
all right y'all so moving on to applying the charms i did do one nail off camera as you can see and i'm gonna do my other nail on camera just to show you guys what charms i applied and how i applied them So y'all, this is how it's looking so far with all of the charms applied so far. I think I'm going to add a couple of more flowers to the nails. But so far, I'm, I'm liking them, y'all. So far, I'm liking them. So in this clip, I was just really debating if I wanted to add the little mushroom. It was cute, but I don't think I added it. So right now, I'm just going to take my cuticle oil and apply it to my cuticles. And then bam y'all that's how they look i really do love how they came out definitely a step up of what i tried like a month ago i'm just in love with them they are super cute but i hope you guys really did enjoy this video please like comment share and subscribe join me on this nail journey y'all please a beginner nail tech and i'm just trying to find my way and i want you guys to find my way with me